Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. There's a good chance we've all run into stop errors at one time or another. And stop errors are also known as blue screens and blue screens of death. And they can be very, very frustrating and intimidating errors to try to troubleshoot because at first glance, this is all the information we get. We get kind of a cryptic description here. You know, we get some hexadecimal numbers down here and maybe a file name that might point us in the right direction. But really, if that's all we get, it's very, very difficult to troubleshoot. Not to mention, our computer just crashed. And if this is a desktop, like a Windows 7 machine, we probably lost some work that we were working on. If it's a server, let's say it's a web server, it crashed, it's no longer serving up web pages. Or even worse, if it's a file server, let's say it's your company's file server, a bunch of users were connected to it working on files, there's a good chance those files are corrupted. So it's not only a frustrating error, it's a very dangerous error. But blue screens don't have to be so frustrating. Once we understand, understand how to troubleshoot them, then we can go about it in a systematic manner and figure out exactly what's going on. And that's what we're going to go over in this training. This description, description name here actually means something and can point us in the right direction of where to find more information on our particular stop error. But we have to know where to go to find that information, and that's what we're going to go over. These hexadecimal numbers actually mean something. These different parameters that are hexadecimal numbers actually mean something depending on what type of stop error you get. But again, you have to know where to find this information, and that's what we're going to go over. This file name, which is normally a driver, can point us in the right direction, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this driver is causing the problem. And that's important to understand, and we're going to go over when a driver appears to be a culprit of the problem or when the underlying hardware might be the problem. Once we understand the stop error, we understand that, okay, well, this, this actually helps us out. This means something. And then in this training, we're going to go over how to analyze memory dump files that are created from a stop error, which can give us even more information to go off of. Once we have all this information, we're going to go over how to figure out exactly what is causing your problem. And then once we know what's causing your problem, we're going to go over how to fix it. Once we understand these steps, our stop errors will no longer be intimidating. And hopefully, when we get them, we only get them once, and we fix them, and that's it. They're gone.